Have you ever wondered how we study Earth's past before humans were around to take climatic and environmental measurements? Well, thankfully, there was something else around taking measurements for us. Rocks. I like to use the analogy of a fish fossil to explain this, because if you think about a fish fossil, it tells us a few things about the environment in which that sediment was deposited. For one, it tells us it was aquatic, and it also can tell us that the environment lacked oxygen if the fish is preserved well, because a lack of oxygen leads to a lack of decomposition and better preservation. But we can refine this reconstruction even further if we look at the species of fish, because then we might be able to say that it was shallow water, deep water, warm water, cold water. But the same concept goes for chemical signatures in rocks that don't even have fossils, because chemical compounds only get preserved in rocks under very particular pH, temperature, pressure, and chemical conditions, so we can reconstruct all of these parameters as well. But why do we care about past reconstructions? Our understanding of how environments and climates have evolved through Earth's history is the key for us to understand and predict future climatic and environmental trends.